Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to Uncut. I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Kobe, and this Uncut BTS is where we take you behind the scenes of our podcast for businesses and our lives. And Andrew, you had a really busy week last week. Tell us all about it. Oh, it's been a crazy two weeks, actually. So two weeks ago, I got sick. I came back from LA. I caught some crazy viral bug that like put me out like I, I've never, I haven't been that sick in so long. So what two, was it like? Fever, stomach like stuff, fever, body aches. Like I went to get tested. Mm-hmm. I was negative for COVID, flu, strep, and then like yeah, the people at urgent care too. They were like, "There's some crazy bug going around." It knocked me out. Like I was in bed the whole week. I was quarantining from Megan and Emery. I didn't want to get them sick. Um, and just so happens that was the week I had like Friday plans. We had like a, a networking event that I've been, you know. Our, we've been planning for like two months. I couldn't go to that. Mm-hmm. Saturday, oh, no. well, Lunar New Year, I couldn't see my family. We couldn't do any like, you know, New Year stuff. And that's such a big thing in the Vietnamese culture. And then Sunday mm-hmm. was Super Bowl, knocked out in bed. I was watching <laughs> Super Bowl. Worst running. weekend so, ever. <laughs> worst week ever. Tuesday during the shoot, Megan texted me and was like, I have a fever. And I was like, oh no. And so like, yeah. she started getting sick and she she was same thing like knocked out couldn't move and like you know it's tough with emery having a baby and being sick it's different it's like mm-hmm. we still have those yeah. responsibilities and we still have to do all those things and then like emery of course was gonna get sick so like wednesday yeah. night she started like coughing and getting warm oh, thursday no. morning she woke up with like a 102 fever we were like freaking out like trying to figure like oh my gosh like what do we do Actually, sorry, that was Wednesday. This is her was first like, time. This is first her time first time. fever. Yeah. yeah. So Megan and I are That's like, scary. Out. like, oh my God. Like, you know, like Friday uncut recording that I couldn't make too. So thank you for for taking that on. And I'm glad it worked Yeah, out. no, I was telling people, I was like, man, this is the first time that Emery's sick, has gotten yeah. sick. And I remember the first time Haley ever got sick. And how stressful and like crazy that was, like especially you guys being sick too and having to take care of her. But it's so scary to see your baby. Like you're, you, she can't tell you too, like how she's feeling, and and so it's just so terrifying. I remember that feeling of like, should we go to the ER? Like, yeah. and then trying to figure out the medicine and and yeah. how much to give her and like overlapping. Yeah, it's crazy. That morning, Valentine's Day morning. We woke up, she had like that 102 fever. And so we, we were like, okay, let's go to the ER. But then we we're messaging the doctor on the way and they're like, oh, you don't need to go to the ER. Just like take her back home, give her some Tylenol. This is how much you should give. And like, she started feeling yeah. better. And like, you know, the Tylenol helped a little bit, but still it's just very sad and scary to see. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah it, we're, we're all good now. She's like, just like has a residual cough. And she, oh, at the same time she's teething. So it's like all these oh, things happen. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, so. Oh, it's, that's a it's rough week. Be, yeah. Rough parenting week. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that was I'm like sorry. Tough, I've been telling people that was like the toughest week we've had as parents. But we got through it. Mm. And so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Definitely takes a village. And, yeah. Thank you, Kobe, too, for stepping in. And yeah. Like well, oh. we missed you. We recorded three episodes back at Tuesdays, our favorite spot in Waikoloa. They were so good, but I was like, oh, I miss Andrew. But uh, we'll be recording know, it, more very, very soon. Yeah, so life life hits you hard and like it's, it's yeah. crazy. Like, we, I think we talked about this in the episode before, but it was like we felt like January was really, really slow. And then now yeah. it's already February 19th. I know. February totally flew by. It's flying by. And I feel like when we were talking to Kamako about, you know, like enjoying the slow time because it's probably going to pick up, like definitely just all of a sudden just picked up. I was like, I'm like looking at my calendar, like, holy smokes, like, how am I going to squeeze all of this in? Like, when's my next day off? It's just so crazy. Tell me about your big family. Oh, yeah. Tahoe trip, Tahoe trip was so good. It was, this is the second year that we went in February and we like both years, we missed a big storm. So it dumped snow right before we got there. So when we got there, it was 
sunny and beautiful and there was fresh snow, fresh powder. And the girls, I've been telling everybody, this is the first year. So they're 11 and nine. And we've been taking them since they were maybe like four and five, maybe, maybe even three. Nice. But for so many years, we we're just like walking with them down the bunny hills. Like we're not yeah. even snowboarding, you know? And so right. and only, only last year we put them in ski school, but we would just kind of like, we wanted them to be comfortable in the mountains. So we we're just like walking down with them, bunny hills, bunny hills, bunny hills. Last year they did ski school and then they learned like it, they exponentially got so much better. I was like, oh, wow, they can get on the lift now this year. They're snowboarding from the very top of the mountain down. Nice. And Haley is like beating me down the mountain. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. So fun. I was like, wow, First all those year. years are finally paying off. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. But it was good. And you guys went with like a huge group too, right? Oh, huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys usually travel with a big group when you go we snowboarding? Do. I mean, it's, it's, it's different with kids, right? I, when I say huge group yeah. for you, it was like it's families with kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's 20 of us or 21, yeah, something like that. Oh, that's awesome. So it's like, yeah, even when we go on our trips, it's like all adults right now, right? Like, so it's still yeah. kind of a big group. But when you start adding kids and whatnot, we're excited for that. Yeah, it's a different experience for sure. Because I went snowboarding with just friends before and you yep. just, you just like go all day long. Like you just like eat no, whatever I'll at the lodge or a granola bar or whatever. Drink. Yeah, I'll you're just like... You don't really think about, oh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and like yeah. resting, and them getting cold, or them getting wet, or yeah, so it's a different experience. And like with the kids, they're all at different experience levels. So oh, okay. we got some kids who could go to the very top of the mountain, some kids who are still learning how to ski or snowboard. And so, and there's not enough adults to cover the amount of kids. Like there are more oh, kids than adults. Yeah. And so I'm like, yeah. okay, so we would go up and I'm like, okay, like I got this kid and this kid and then they're going separate places. I'm like, wait, we to stay together. What's, what's, yeah. one, what's one tip or I guess trick you would give for like a family traveling? So this one is one that we just discovered this year and Ooh. it was a major game changer. So we normally don't travel with our own snowboards because if you think about it, there's like four people, four of us in our family. So four boards, yeah. four boots, four bindings, and like our regular winter boots and all that stuff. So so yeah, we normally yeah. just rent gear when we go snowboarding. And you know how it is when you have to like rent gear, you go early, you stand in line, you get fitted and all that. By the time you're on the mountain, it's like a couple hours already have gone by. This year, we had a mobile snowboarding, like a rental, um, come to the house. So oh. we flew in, got to the house. They brought their big truck with all their boards and boots and all that. And then they fitted us at the house so that when the next morning, we could just go straight onto the oh. mountain. And we just, yeah, we just like took our gear with us. Like we just wore the boots to the mountain and didn't have to like have a lot of stuff there we just had a backpack and but we had everything on us so it was oh, yeah. awesome like i will That's... never go back to just renting at the ski resorts yeah. again that's super yeah. that's super clutch actually because yeah like you come in you get all set because that's usually what you do when you bring your own gear right you set up everything mm -hmm. at night so the next morning you mm -hmm. just go at first light yeah oh that's that's sick that's super convenient and then nobody needs yeah to leave. You guys can all kind of get settled while everyone's getting fitted. Wow. Okay. Good. Yeah. Tip. Good and then tip. after, and then after you're done, like you rent, we only did two days on the mountain, but like the end of the second day, we just went back to the house and then they came back to the house to get all the stuff. And it was so easy. So, so easy. So Convenient. That's, that's a big awesome. travel hack for nice. that. We just discovered. That's awesome. Yeah. So next thing coming up, there is PhotoCon. Well, actually, mm -hmm. before that, it was actually Wed Talk. On the same so, day. <laughs> yeah, it's on the same day. <laughs> Just that morning. So um, I feel like we were planning Wed Talk for like so many months, and now it's like next week or this week, week, actually. Mm -hmm. this oh, week, this Sunday. week, yep. Yeah. So this week, Sunday, Wed Talk. We talked about another episode, but it is something that Oahu Wedding Association is putting on to kind of like just like another resource for couples to come out connect with you know the local vendors and like mm -hmm. we're all just gonna have 
panels, answer questions. I know you're hosting with Tessa, so um, mm-hmm. it's going to be different panels talking about different topics, and couples will get to come and connect and ask questions and just like, yeah, get good advice and feel more confident about their wedding. It's very much like community over competition with the wedding yep. industry. And I think people will see that for sure. Like it's, we don't want people to just book us if we think they would make a better match with a different vendor, because in the end, like, you know, it's going to affect everything. It's going to affect their whole entire day. And so I think that's very special. I think especially in our field, like photo video, I tell a lot of couples this, like they don't realize, or like a lot of people don't realize, but our teams are with the couples for majority of the day. Sometimes yeah. they see each other more than the couple sees each other, right? Because like we're with them yeah. early at camp and then all of that. And let's, we're with them constantly throughout the whole day. So it's like you and really even have more to- than the coordinator because exactly. the coordinator is off coordinating. Right. They're, <laughs> so. already, they're planning and meeting ahead of time. But the, the wedding day itself, like they're doing their stuff. They're setting up, making sure everything gets done. But we're with them all day. We're essentially the yeah. coordinators and making sure the day runs smoothly. Yeah, there's been so many times that because we share like such this intimate time together that we become really good friends afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> you know, always. it's like, oh, we were with you on your wedding day in like, you know, as you're getting ready, when yeah. you're partying, when you're like freaking out. And it's like, it's we really cool that we get to share together. that. We went through all the yeah. emotions together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then right after that, we go up the hill to Kapiolani Community College for PhotoCon, and we're doing our first ever live recording with a, I'm sorry, not a live recording. It will be a live audience recording. And we're going to have some a couple of special guests, surprise special guests. Some, we're giving away some stuff. I got some goodies that I'll post on our Uncut um, Instagram that we're giving away. And... I'm excited for that one too. I think that one's going to be really fun. It's going to be a completely different experience. Yep. I, I'm kind of nervous. Are you Are you I, worried? <laughs> no, I mean, I, 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 I have, I used to have a fear of public speaking. Now I still feel a type of Good way thing about you have a it. podcast. But that's just you know, like we talked about that too. It's just like you sit down and you're connecting with this. Your this person. oh Zave, hey. what's up, you guys? Hey, happy Hi. guys. Hello. How are you? Oh, I like your hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> LV. I've, I've been rocking this for. Oh. I've been, the only LV I can grab. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where are you, Zave? Are you in Kauai? Yeah, I'm at the Nuali Coffee um, on the south side. Nice. Um, I was driving to all these. I didn't want to take this in the office. Um, I wanted to go to a coffee shop, but I forgot that it was a holiday. So. Happy Monday. Yeah. Happy President's Day. How's it going? Happy Monday. It's going good, bro. Um, how has it been going? It's been going crazy, honestly. Really? Um, Tell us. Yeah, it's just been no, it's crazy good, you know? Yeah. Um, you just one thing after the other, two things at once. It's just always just feels like. It's never ending. Not complaining though. More, yeah. grateful, more grateful than anything. Yeah, I know. We were just talking about that. Like, it started off kind of slow, and then all of a sudden, we're like, "Whoa, everything is it, like happening all at one time." Yeah, I, I, um, I was kind of, I wasn't doing as much events last year just because I wanted to focus. You know, I mean, there was the HPD stuff, but that's, it took a lot, and then, <laughs> but at the end of the year, I always try to do like those corporate events because one they pay better it's just you know what i mean yeah. but it it was one after the other after the other on different islands oh yeah so it took me damn near two weeks to like bounce back i feel like yeah, yeah. it's a lot but, yeah it was, it was it was so good so fun i got to stay on maui for a bit so um, yeah, it was fun. Especially like when you're hosting and emceeing and like trying to figure out, like get to know like the clients and like the event and like the vibe. It's that, all that stuff takes a lot of work too, right? Yeah, and like, you know, it was um, one of the, so it was first line bank and then I had to do the West in Kanapali, but I had to actually drive through Lahaina. Oh. And, you know, not to make it heavy, but it was it was heavy, bro. Like driving to this place to, you know, like 
enjoy and pretty much celebrate all the employees of the of the West End, but a lot of them were housed at the hotel still. Oh, oh. wow. But they but they were such good vibes. It was like it was easy for me to like kick in into like, oh no, like we're here to have fun and you know celebrate and um just enjoy the night, you know. Sure you brought a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're was, the right uh, person for that for sure. For uh, like, <laughs> they oh my goodness, guy. It's it's always fun when like <clears throat> immediately I can go on stage and then one uncle, you know yelling from the crowd like where the fireworks you know i'm like oh yeah you're my guy all night yeah. um, so it was i mean it was fireworks all night long and you know if, if they can have a good time and, and have fun then then let's let's rock it that's so cool yeah, no. so I, I was thinking about the last time we had you on the podcast was like two years ago no has it been two years already? yeah it's pretty because you were like one of our first um guess so why why am i everybody's first because i was even to Lewis first I oh for real episode. yeah oh that's fun i need to watch that one that was fun it's it's perfect for them like it's a really good dyna- dynamic that they have and yeah then, you know just like <clears throat> being on a podcast that is more more comedy than comedy driven than anything i was like yeah that was fun. you know i've done bobby lee um, yeah, part yep. these podcasts, but with Tamua, it was it was real quick and it was it was just nonstop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he too. I'm like, because he was one of our first guests too. But then, like, ever since we had him on, man, it's like it's so crazy to watch. Like, even for you, like, watch your journey like unfold, like all the things that you're doing, and I'm like, holy, they're crushing it. Bruh, I mean, ain't nobody keeping up with to what you know it's it's like it's and if you can if you can grab and you hold on (laughs) we're all trying we're all trying yeah exactly but um but yeah so what what have you been up to like you know like even like last year i know you talked about you know in the beginning of the year we kind of talked about like like you said you want to focus more on you know your your a different part of your career right less events you said so like what kind of like triggered you to make that decision to kind of just like focus in on one thing? I'm gonna move right outside because. Oh, oh. no, his internet's gonna get all crazy again. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah, no, because I was about to get really loud in there, and I can tell some people are there to do business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I asked the question, and he was like, "Hold on, let me go find a spot to tell the story." Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, make let sure me, let this me... comes out clear. Yeah. No. Yeah. But like, yeah. I mean, like, like, like you said, you know, it, it's you. You wanted to focus on like a certain part of your career. You were doing so much before that. What kind of made? Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of triggered that decision? And how has it been? Shoots, I've been working real closely with my business partner. A lot of the pivot was because of him. Um, he he just made made it real clear. Like he's always questioning like why I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you know, what I mean, is this what I want to be doing? And is this something that I want to be doing long long term? Mm-hmm. Um. And just when, when we kind of like took off all the layers and kind of really, really dived into like what my business was from the, the social media to merchandise, to events, to partnerships, to all these things. It's like what makes the most sense. And and currently, what am I putting the most energy into? It was events, mm-hmm. um, you know, so I mean, for me, like I said, when I did those three events back to back, it took damn near two weeks for me to bounce back and get mm-hmm. back into proposals and where i left off with toyota and all these different things that that they and they deserve as much energy as i give to those events Mm -hmm. um uh last year was like i was like okay i'm gonna take the events that i know i have to do to make by per month Mm -hmm. but i also want to start building the the uh my online um shopify my store um you know i I got locked out of youtube so we started dude the reason i stopped my podcast was because I got locked out of YouTube. How did you do that? Hawaiian. My house this guy, my house this guy email. I didn't know that I attached my seventh grade email or whatever to my account as the owner. Oh. What? <laughs> You're Wait, not saying old enough. Yeah. So no, no. So so I gave my house this guy Gmail the manager role. So when I was in there i was a manager the whole time ah. then i 
then I went in and removed myself as the manager, not knowing, thinking I was the owner. Brother, I couldn't get back in. And I was like, wait, I only took off the manager role. I don't know how I, long story short, that I realized I tried to do the two-step verification, like last ditch effort four months later, because we haven't done the podcast for, yeah, you know, for, for a while. Um, and we're sitting on a bunch I was of like, episodes. My episode never ever came out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, guy, the thing is, is your episode might not ever come out actually. <laughs> hey, <laughs> because, that's good. No, because one of the, I, I think I have you and I have Brandon. I don't have me, so I'm gonna have to put a still and <laughs> animate my mouth. <laughs> oh, like one of the you cameras. Know the, you know the sand is. Yeah, yeah. You know the sand guy lost you, so many that, files yeah you, oh, you met no. and i was like oh no something bad happened kobe that you andrew you guys know like you guys yeah, want one of those discs go down your your history uh, yeah this yeah. little guy <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy how much like these things control the content and right. everything I your have business a it controls your business yes this is what this is what i'd be rocking nowadays okay yep you know, the samsung yeah oh yeah. I, I have to i have to jump ship <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy you know like i mean kobe knows i know like every every content creator knows and they go through <laughs> it whether it's an sd card whether it's you forgot to press record whether it's your hard drive, that shit is heartbreaking. Ah. It's heartbreaking. It is. The amount of times where super geeks like crying about like that they cannot get it to mount, it's no, so it's, sad. Yeah. It's it's like it, I I've, I've only just created uh, a, a SOP, a system of operations oh, yeah. for how to upload mm, <clears throat> YouTube's in the way youtube videos that i want it to be uploaded like no not even not even like backing up and filming and stuff it's like because this year i'm going heavy youtube yeah um you know what i'm saying so i have a system of operations for thumbnails and and it's all out there but it's like what i think or at least what youtube is telling me that works with my channel right yep. now you know wait um, so did you get back in i got back in nice. oh good i oh, got good. back in so so if you look back if you go on my channel now the, the the video that was posted i think was a monk seal one and the turtle kind of talking story oh. but that was the week that i got in nice nice so it, yeah, had, no. so it was months then where you didn't upload any content oh like four months wow four, maybe even six i'm not even sure wow i think yeah. i think we kind of had that text conversation right you kind of like asked like what there, there's so it's crazy because like there's so many social media platforms and whatnot out there but it's like which is the platform that's you know gonna like survive and stay true and last you know and we i believe mm -hmm. it's youtube mm -hmm. i agree <clears throat> i agree and i think i think the way that youtube is set up and and you know i had i had jamie o'brien um on on the podcast maybe two or three weeks ago he just had his grand opening for his surf shop at the twin fin waikiki oh sick but um we were talking and he, he put it into perspective you know like i was telling him like dude like some of me and my dad's videos are like hitting 26 30 32 minutes and he said but the viewers on on youtube are long form mm -hmm. they, they, yep. they they yeah they they're, they want that yeah they go um, to that platform expecting that exactly and mm -hmm. for me what i was telling andrew is, is super interesting because even from the organic content that I make, the short form stuff that I do with my partners, technical and stuff, it's all what's quick, what's yeah. super concise, and, and how do I tell this story of this random uncle who drives this busted Toyota, you know what I mean, in Texaco, who I have really five seconds to give him a Texaco gas card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I get this guy to like, you know, hometown heroes in 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what I was telling Andrew is like, I like YouTube because I like to write, you know what I mean? I like to tell stories. And for me and my dad, whether it's fishing or going to, you know, sleep apnea tests and stuff, it, you don't, you're not stretching it out, but you're, it, you're, you're storytelling. You lose so much context, like important context when you have to shorten it that short, you know, it's like, exactly. oh, it was a great story. And then once you had to shorten it to like 30 seconds, it kind of sucks. It's just basic now. Yeah, yeah exactly. And like, yeah. It's like, you know, we've, we've been working on this, this strategy of like, you know, how, 
what Instagram should be used for, what, you know, and how can that drive traffic to YouTube in a way that feels like, you know, like not so on the nose. You, you, I mean, when you got to be on the nose, that's fine too. But how do I do it? If it, if I want to do it two, three reels a week, how do I make it feel like enticing? Like I, like they want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And it's, it's been, it's just been interesting. It's been really cool to try to figure out. And, and, and that's the thing, like I was pretty set in my ways in terms of like, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm on IG, you know, I'm booming on IG, like, but realistically like what andrew said i i do agree that youtube is is like the long-term play if you mm -hmm. want to do you know content creation yeah um, yeah, yeah it's no that's good because there's so many creators out there and it's like everything funnels back to youtube every new platform yeah. and everything that comes out there like it, it funnels back to youtube mm -hmm. yes you can see on instagram side too um you can see their their new analytics you know and and, and stuff like that and i really like that i can see you know not what real just performs better but how many followers you get per the specific reel mm -hmm. so i can really hone in on like what people want to see yeah and and you know <clears throat> it's just good yeah i'm in my analytics so like yeah every day That's are good. you i'm so in it that's bro. so like, good yeah i need to yeah. be better at that we need to be it's, better it's, at that you have to be because it's like no. you know the, yeah. being aware of that data right it's so powerful so what, what kind of content what kind of content is like blowing up for you it's the it's the animalia bro the it's one. the animal it's it's the animal animal kingdom. ones yeah the the animalia. Animalia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we animal. The animal. No, that right? is totally it's, it's... your brand right there yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's it's the it's the animal kingdom and and you know what i found is like um so right now like my demographics my target demographic is 25 to 34. <clears throat> mm -hmm. i'm working you know and and then you know i have i have like a 35 to 44. that's like second but what i found is like the more that i throw that monk seal outfit on the turtle the pig like the kids don't know who i am or don't care about jimmy but they don't it, it's that's how they know me mm -hmm. So now when like if I walk around and I throw it on throw those videos on TikTok, it's like they're like, hey, that's you're in the turtle suit, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's cool because it's um it's like a fresh start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a new, a completely different demographic new audience. Age or age. Yeah. 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 So that's what's blowing up is like um for sure the animal stuff. The ad I don't I don't know why. I think because <clears throat> I think because like saying what you would think the animal feels like obviously yeah, exactly. yeah, can't yeah. talk yeah you know but if you touch them this is probably what they would say yeah and yeah i think i think that's it for sure it's just like the people's can, like obsession imagine, with animals yeah, yeah and it is and it is like on mine so maybe it's because i have a dog maybe <laughs> but like all of my explore stuff it's all animals <laughs> see and imagine imagine you see a freaking five ten Filipino Hawaiian brada in a freaking pig suit. You might, you might have to click on that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Gulch video was so good. Bro. That is clickbait right, right there. That, yeah, brah, that Gulch video. I can't wait till you guys get him on. Who? Robo is his name. Yeah, Robert, yeah. I think so. He runs the Gulch. Yeah, yeah. He runs. He's a Gulch runner. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe. He's from. He's from where you're from. Wait, why do I not know about this? You don't know this is video. Is he on one of your videos? No, no, you do no. know about this. You just you're fighting it right now. Yeah, yeah. I think you, I'm you, on a thing and I was like, I don't understand this. It's like not yeah. hitting. It's not hitting my age group. <laughs> no, it's am I, am I? What do you mean? Are we not in the same age group? No, no, dude, we're, we're I'm not, like we're, ten we're years older than you. Oh gosh. Well, <laughs> well, what? Well, I think you're lying. Anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you got I'm in your number two audience. <laughs> Yeah, we, we need them all. We need all ages. You know what I mean? Yeah, I Together think, we I think can Kobe, hit all. Kobe's out of your demographic. You know <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in the number two demographic. Um, <laughs> wait, tell me about this Gulch guy. I, I think he's a Hono cowboy. Okay. Hunter through and through. I mean, just absolutely. A, right? He just he just wants to literally live and, and, and run these Gulches. So he made a video. He didn't even make a video. He went on Instagram live. Yeah, he went on Instagram Wait, live. What's his, um, what's his what's his Instagram profile? 
bro. It's like Malka Monsta eight seven one or something. Why do I know oh, that? Is it, that like, <laughs> how, he remembers. <laughs> oh no, it's like it's like Malka Malka, Malka underscore Monsta seventy four. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like yeah. I know this guy. <clears throat> like, it's just been going someone viral. Someone recorded it. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and, and that it. video was like it was a while ago, but like someone just like brought it back, and it's blowing up again. Yes. Oh, that's why. Like, I don't even think Brada knows what's happening. I mean, because yeah, his, his last husband. post was like July of 2023. Yeah, he's inactive. He's the most. <laughs> I think, he's the most I think viral we need a inactive. live reaction to the video right now. <clears throat> well, if I showed my, if I show, yeah. I feel yeah. like I know this guy. <laughs> Bra, if you know him, tell him I want him. I yeah, we need a, we need a well, Which, was, which yeah. video was the uh, viral one? Which one went viral? You're not going to find it because yeah. he didn't Perfect. post it because it was an IG live that someone screen recorded. Oh. And then posted probably a year later. Oh, shit. <laughs> but he it was just like going it... on a rant about hunting or something? Yeah. Let me, let yeah, me find he was, he was oh, yeah. making sure that everyone knew that he ran him and his dog Herman ran those coaches. <laughs> hey, thank you for He's not forgetting Herman. Thank you for not forgetting Herman. No, no, no. You cannot forget Herman. Yeah, Herman yeah. actually grabs pork. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> so wherever he lives, his neighbor's dogs don't grab pork. That was that was known from the video. But Herman does. But Herman does. Oh, and all wow. it takes is eight pounds of pressure to knock someone out if you clip their jaw. <laughs> so, so Zayn did a video where he dressed up in the uh, in his pig outfit, and it's the audio playing. He's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I actually, I actually have a pretty decent sized gulch behind my house. <laughs> so, so the spin on it was that the pig was hoping that it wasn't that. It wasn't that gulch. Was yeah. Talking about running. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> cause, cause, cause the pig just wanted to eat some mango. That, that was it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so funny. Wait, Maybe did not... he? Did he even like respond to that video, Zave? Oh no, he hasn't responded. He's he's radio silent. For, yeah, no, he's been. Just, he hasn't. I don't think he knows what's going on. Honestly, like it's, it's, <laughs> he that's more. On. That's even more yeah. funny. No, yeah. Because be before I made the video, brother was at a cool, like under two thousand followers. Now he's almost at around ten. Yeah, yeah. He but like he's just growing organically, like, like no. without any trying, without trying. No. He Mark probably has Zuckerberg. like all Mark notifications off, so he doesn't even like see that he has. Does like, he even have a phone? Maybe not. Maybe he lost it in the gulch. He, he, <laughs> he may still be in the gulch, running. He, yeah, he's he's. He's riding it. That's a twenty-four-seven kind of yeah, thing. Exactly. You know I mean? <laughs> there is no time long for the water. Media. Bro, <laughs> long as the water is flowing, the the pigs are drinking. Let me tell you. <laughs> and, and, and those lily coys are definitely growing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, grow, rot, fall, pig come, my mom. <laughs> it's, it's the cycle. It's the cycle. Yeah, and then Herman comes and just grabs those ears. <laughs> Wait, Kobe, I'll send you the video later. We'll find it. We'll find it. Oh my gosh, we have to okay. put it into the. Uh, we'll make... Tell us about this um, Honolulu Police Department collab. It's that's been hilarious. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's um, so random. <clears throat> like, how did that even happen? Yeah, it, bro, I'll tell you exactly how it happened. So you guys know that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do um, like a character called sure. the sheriff mm -hmm. um yeah called Niele patrol and we were out filming with mark Noguchi for for a toyota series um <clears throat> at sandy's oh nice yeah i remember so that. i was dressed as a yeah so so the skit was he was in the monk seal and i was like i was on the lifeguard stand um with a megaphone telling guys to back away as the sheriff um what happened was a, the day before or whatever it was somebody got stabbed at sandy's oh so the police department was there uh near the bathrooms just like monitoring just making sure you know making sure it was all good it was supposed to be like a pretty nuts weekend so <clears throat> they were there cruising we went to go give out free hot dogs because we were cooking we were grilling that was kind of part of the whole series and then we went to go give them some food 
and then we were taking um had the whole crew those um videographers photographers while I was shaking their hands the cops hands and then someone snapped the photo I ended up posting it long story short freaking HPD uh DM me HPD and, you know, DM'd you yeah I didn't H- even HPD. know that they had a Instagram Sorry. account HPD slid head first into that DM. <laughs> Shout out to whoever that can become. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. That, that in-house marketing, thank you. <laughs> That's true. Um, so, I mean, it, and it was always like a, at first it was kind of just a joking thing, but then, you know, as the share stuff progressed and, and the, the firework stuff and, and you know, the, the views for the, the Niele Patrol series is kind of like, it just – he can really do it. He can ride a bike down a hill, and it's yeah, it's all yeah. good. It's fun. It's funny, you know. Um, and it's, his his character is kind of just like this like random uncle who sticks his nose into people's business. That you know he should he has no he has no, no business. yeah no business doing yeah. Um, and I and and when they reached out, you know, we were talking back and forth, and yeah, I kind of just as far as I remember, it was just like. They kind of threw out like a oh like we would love to work with you. I said what are you what? And I'm always looking at things to like legitimize the house this guy brand, you mm-hmm. know, to take it from funny guy who dresses as a kumu to, you know, like oh shit, like this is you know what I mean like that's the HPD stamp of approval. That's crazy, mm-hmm. you know. I'm always trying. I'm always looking for opportunities like that. So um, after I met with him, um, the whole team, the chief. All the lieutenants i found myself at a round table that's crazy. literally at the at the yeah at the police department and the chief was there um wow eight other people yeah and, and they, they pretty much was like they told me what their goals were and as they were talking i was just spitting ideas i said bro imagine if we did this 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 and you guys kind of seen that in the, in the trailers or the teasers yeah. leading up yeah. to the actual episodes um, but all of that was like right then and there. I had a notepad. I said, "Hey, can I use a piece of paper?" I started writing all this stuff, and they were pretty much like, "Brah, you know, like this is unreal." And then also, like, you know, it's clean local comedy. I just think it was a good move. Whether it was me, Tamu, or Magic Mike, it really doesn't matter. I feel like the HPD are they're in this position always, nonstop. That no matter what, it's like, it, it's just it's hard. It's 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 like. How do you glorify something that you know so much shit is hitting the fan? I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, right? It's like, it's like HPD is late to this, or, or HPD fails to X, Y, and Z. But it's, it's just hard. It's just like, like you and, never and, hear and, about the good things that they've done. Like all oh, the time that they saved the day, like that never gets talked about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly, and like you know, it's not to say that all cops are great or all cops are bad. It's just a show. I feel like this partnership and collaboration has at least made hpd like cops and stuff more approachable it's it's mm-hmm. you know it's 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 something that they can talk about you know what i mean did you see that that video that the hpd posted as opposed to the headlines that you always see every day about the HPD. yeah it's the first time there's like a positive kind of force you know negating all that stuff so yeah no that's good and i'm sure it like gives for people who are trying to join HPD or they're trying to recruit people it's like it's good to see like that a little bit of balance there like at least there's it's not all heavy heavy stuff yeah and that's good and it's like and they and and at the end of the day they wanted to try some what you know what they were trying to do and the ways that they were marketing and, and communicating um you know that 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 the academy has openings and the department has has vacancies it's like it just wasn't working and for them they just wanted to try something new so you know for me it's like like i was telling you guys in the beginning i'm always like in my analytics so i can pull that pretty quickly and Mm -hmm. and and i can show them that you know in just the eight videos that we posted so far it's generated x y and z and for them that's like super valuable Mm -hmm. um you know and and it's it's good i mean i've always wanted to use my platform for um you know spreading like important messages that's kind of why i started the house this podcast Mm -hmm. um Ernie Lau and when the Red Hill stuff was, was going on, I was like, mm-hmm. how do I, how do I like bring this up? How do, how do I, it can't just be a skit. You know what I mean? It can't just be like a funny video oh, about what, like, like gasoline and audio holes. Like, you know, so <laughs> no, no, no one wants that. Right. That's not even, that's not, it's not even that funny. I think, I think it's amazing <laughs> what you're doing with your platform and like these partnerships with these local companies and like just spreading awareness, mm-hmm. but 
digestible, relatable, funny, you know, organic way. And I think, you know, like that's, that's what marketing and branding and everything is shifting towards. So I'm excited to see what else you do. Yeah. yeah talk no, about you. what you have coming up this year that you're super stoked about. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, aside from me and my dad starting our own podcast, um, I mean, I guess you guys heard it here like first. We're going to call it, it's going to be called Like Fada, Like Son. Oh, perfect. Hey. That's yeah. So perfect. <laughs> yeah. Something, something that, you know, is, is like familiar in Hawaii, but also can, um, you know, it's like if, if someone comes across it, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a father and a son. Yeah. Um, so I'm, re- I'm really, I'm, mo- I'm not going to lie. I mean, um, I'm mostly excited about building my YouTube channel in a way that's like um, sustainable. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have I have my my good good friend Trison who he does all of the thumbnails. Um, I, I I just got off the phone with one of my video my, one of my videographers and editors that I usually take along to my events, and he said that he's down to figure something out where I can film, send him the stuff, and he'll edit all the vlogs and stuff like that. So for me, it's like everything's coming together in a way that I could have never ever dreamed of. Mm, you know, you know what I I'm saying? That. Yeah. Um, because for me it was always a thing i was like if i could ever get to a point where x y and z if i could always make x amount of money it's not even about the money it's more it's more team it's the most important thing is like a team you know mm-hmm. what i mean you cannot do it by yourself so i think for me when now i see the that, that the cards are kind of falling into play it's it's it, it's energizing you know it's, it's like motivating um and so so that's that that's like personally like that's what i want to do is is youtube um because I want to do it for a long time, you know. And- yeah, that's so good. I just I always think back to like your story about how all of this started, and it was very just like organic, and it was taking a big risk, like taking a chance on something that you know not a lot of people have done before. There's no path that was already laid out for you, but to see like where it started and where you are now and like collaborating with all these different brands, departments, like it's very, very cool. And I, I think you're like a really great um, role model for like people who are wanting to do content creation in the future. So thank you. Yeah. thank you. And and that's another thing too, is like, I feel like we all, it, bruh, it, it's, it's just, it's unreal to be in a space and like, kind of like, we're all running in the same circles, right? And we always, sometimes we overlap, Mm -hmm. but it's crazy to be like in this niche with all of you guys who, you know, I look towards like hometown heroes, Mm -hmm. amazing, but so well done, Mm -hmm. make it happen. You You know what I'm saying? And then Andrew, like just, dude, I don't mean, I don't even know how you, you're a dad, you know what I mean? Congratulations. And Mm -hmm. everyone's just doing, when, when you just look at the outside, you're like, how the hell are they doing it? But when, when you get to talking and, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like there's there's more stuff coming and there's more things to look forward to. I'm like, frick, right on. Yeah. I just love being in the same conversations as this and, you know, finding myself at the same round table with the, the hammers. So yeah. this is cool. Super grateful. Yeah. No, it's fully like I, I don't take it for granted either. But when we have these conversations, that's why we love the podcast so much is because like we all share like similar mindset. It's mm-hmm. like very optimistic, very like abundant, very like, you know, if there isn't a way to do it, like, let's figure it out, you know? So yeah. I, I I think conversations like this, like make me stoked too to like keep pushing the boundaries and like mm-hmm. what else can we do, you know? So. Exactly. And, and like, it's easy to take cons- it, like criticism. I mean, it's easy to take criticism from people who you know would do it themselves or figure it out or, you know, like there, you know, it's coming from a place of like, let's make this thing really good. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, you guys should do X, Y, and Z. And when you tell me, oh, why? I'm like, oh, because no. <laughs> it's yeah. like, it's like, I'm going to tell you why. I think because, you know, placing a thumbnail like X, Y, and Z would, you know, I mean, would work better mm-hmm. based on like what YouTube tells me. So yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah it's no, really that's cool. awesome and we're excited to see everything that you do and all the partnerships that come and all the content that you push out so thank you for making time to come on with us automatic thank you for um pushing it back a little bit there was like i said it today is a holiday and i was like uh i, can't, I just kept driving until i found one, one open coffee shop <laughs> so so kobe everybody's thinking the same thing 
even when I told you it would take me 18 minutes, I mapped the farthest that I was willing to drive for a coffee shop that I was <laughs> hoping they was open. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I mean, if they weren't open, I would have just been like, okay, I'm in the shopping center, but yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. yeah. Why problems? I feel oh, you. I tell That's you. how it is in one man too. <laughs> <laughs> where oh. do we get your, where, we, where can we get that hat? So Aloha Everything. Exchange is, is someone, oh, that's another thing I didn't say, but I have some freaking products coming out that yes. is like, is going to be in collaboration with Aloha Exchange, who Ooh. does all the nice. Louis Vuitton stuff, but it's, I'm so, I'm such a weirdo for not sporting that thing today, but um, uh, yeah, I have some products coming out, but this is from Aloha Exchange and um, I probably get at least 50 inquiries a day every time I use this thing. Really? Yeah. But, but I'm not even assist. from Lihue and I want one of those. Oh yeah, it's just such a good play on like something well known, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they did get a cease and desist from Le from from Louis Vuitton. Oh shit. <laughs> um, yeah. So they have it actually pinned on their creative board just to just as a pillar to be like, oh, bro, right on. We're yeah, we're, yeah. We, oh, that's we're, awesome. we're those guys. Yeah. That's yeah. how you um, know you made it. It's like when Louis Vuitton comes after you. <laughs> right, hey, Louis. I'm pretty sure the owner of Louis Vuitton is like one of the one of the brother styling. You know what I mean. <laughs> Um, yeah, brother's well to do. So if, if you can get on his radar, I'm pretty sure you're doing something. Yeah, yeah. So, totally. so something, re something really illegal or something really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, or, 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 or I think they did both. But yeah. Nah, they, they, um, so they, they can sell it in store, uh, just not online. Oh, okay. Oh. So you get yeah. a little quote you for that. Got it. Yeah. Or, or you just hit, you hit one of the plugs up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because eh, fireworks not the only thing I If move. you know, you, you know. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a clip right there. And we're going to need to uh, yeah, market that and try and sell it. Oh, please but, yeah, do. You know, you know. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> IYK, YK. I should just get a tat right here. IYK. Oh, <laughs> double dare you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that can be one of your days. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, do you guys have any tattoos? I got I tiny ones. I got wait, okay. I got like little kind of cutie ones, mm. like all over. Nice. There you go. You have any? Yeah. I, I can't wait to get one though. What's it gonna be? If you uh, know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Goat, goat runners. <laughs> yeah. Goat runners. <laughs> or just I run this. <laughs> Or just ivories, just curlers, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's crazy. Oh. The day that happens, I start hunting. <laughs> you better. Or are you going to get hunted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're either hunting oh. or you're hunt getting hunted. Oh, oh, oh man, versus wild. Huh? <laughs> that's another make, character. Naked that's another... and afraid. Oh, the naked and afraid? Oh, that's death a character. <laughs> that's an intense. That's intense. <laughs> In, in, in the caves of Makaha. <laughs> Naked and afraid Wait, of that, Makaha. That, that's how it starts. In, a, in, the, in, the, in the caves of Makaha. <laughs> a young, scared boy. <laughs> and afraid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a new thing. Yeah, there you. we go. <laughs> what, 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 what era are you in right now? Like, it's a new year. Like, what, what, what would you say? You're, what era are you in right now? I'm in it. my focus era. Okay. And what like, are you doing? Like I, I've been reading um, uh, uh, Atomic Habits. Yes. So Ooh, I've been reading this book. book called, right, and, and what I've been doing to focus is like, um, I, I, I realize I have the worst habits. Mm. I have the most unproductive, but it just sets me up for, yeah, I have, I have really bad habits. But So just trying to focus in on that and like, um, you know, when I catch myself and um, when I catch myself in that, just freaking try to, I have like stuff written down that I gotta, that I gotta do instead of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, so like before, like, you know, I just be like, oh yeah, I gotta edit today. Now it's like, no, you are editing this vlog, this podcast and four reels from each at, you know, 10 a.m. or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So today, like I need to finish two proposals and I'll write like this one 70% done. This, you know what I mean? So I gotta like, I gotta get that stuff done. So it's just more like concise, right? Goals and, and yeah. stuff that, like my to-do list was so vague before. Mm -hmm. um, 
stuff would get done. But I'm pretty sure like what's what's been helpful is, is to be more concise with my my to do list and, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's oh, that, I love that. That like sets your set, setting yourself up for success that way. Because exactly. That's and that's like a maturity <clears throat> thing that you just learn over time. Like you like first step is like making a to do list. But then if it's like mm -hmm. two proposals. You don't quite know like how long that's going to take you. And like then you're always like missing your, like you're not checking it off because it's like I m miscalculated like it actually takes me like 15 hours to do one proposal. Mm -hmm. So like breaking it up to be like, OK, like do all the text or whatever it is and then or what yeah. you know just breaking it up like, into little portions instead of like one big thing yeah brah because the one big thing for me i'm always end up putting it off but if i'm like okay hey, what are the actual damn deliverables that these guys are asking for then if i just do the deliverables and work backwards how easy is it to get to the point of delivering mm -hmm, that to mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. um you know and what's been freaking super helpful and this is you know, I mean, maybe not every, this doesn't apply to everybody, but, you know, because I have such a large audience and, and I'm always stopped and I love, I love to interact with fans. But what I started doing is like, if I know I'm going to be out in public, I will set 10 minute time, like alarms, you know what I mean? 10, 10 minutes apart, just so that when I know that I'm out, if I got to run in and grab something, if I end up talking, sorry, I can talk forever. Mm. Yeah. But oh, once I hear the fun. thing go off, I'm like, okay, 10 minutes. But not, not to say that in 10 minutes I'm gone, but for me to know, like, and then if another one goes off, I'm like, brother, you've been here for 20. If yeah, the other yeah. one hits, you're going to be standing here for a half hour, you know? Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's so that's good. good. Yeah, yeah. You just get stuck in conversation and you look down and you're like, oh, I've been standing here for like 30 minutes just talking story. And I had like exactly. 10 things on and my just, list to do. And that was yeah. just your one errand. Like you yeah, still gotta yeah. go do three more things. <laughs> wait, wait, no, like, and, and now you gotta, like exactly like you said, Kobe, it's like not, then now you gotta work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like. <laughs> and then all your energy is gone. And like it, now it's, you wanna just It's a just weird kill. thing. It's a different oh, that's mindset. So good. It's a different mindset yeah. when you're playing catch up versus like, you know, when you're a little ahead. And like, Bro, like, yeah. creatively, creatively, I hate doing it. That's why. Yeah. That's why it has to be that way. It's like, you know, like, and and bruh, it's like, I, I'm I'm not this like philosophical. I don't read a lot, but I've been reading a bunch, and I have, um, I have so many books actually stacked up that that I'm that I plan on getting to through <clears throat> this year. Um, another another good one of two them. good books: Twelve Week Year and Relentless. Twelve. Mm. Rel I have Relentless. I didn't yeah. read it yet. Yeah, um, that's a good 12 one. Twelve week, twelve week year. Yep. It just it just oh, kind of talks to you about like why do it in twelve months when you can do it in twelve weeks. You know, everyone always says like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, like New Year's resolution, I'll do it next year. Why, yeah, why, yeah. why do that when you can do it in you know, twelve weeks? Crazy, bro. That's it. It goes, it goes See, kind like, of in... with atomic habits. So it's 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 a good book. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. Dude, atomic habits like. Like I'd be going finger, yeah. back to the, yeah. I'd be going back to the diagrams and like, like, you know, I, to kind of, the kind of like I'll be marking it up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like best way. Um, yeah, and it was cool because I was reading on the plane and then there was this guy. He he just turned 64. Mm. Um, Glenn is his name. He just followed me on IG, but uh, he was he he was like reading it over my shoulder the, where I was. Um, and it was talk of, talking about habit stacking, mm. you know, stacking habits and stuff like that. Um, and and he, it was so cool because he's like, oh, he said something and I had my headphones on and took it off and said, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? He said, oh, no, sorry, I'm just reading over your shoulder. I said, oh, do you want me to like put the book between us? Or, he said, no, 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 I, I've, I've read that book. Um, he's like, and I just, I just, I just want to um, mention or, or, you know, not to overstep or anything, but he was just breaking down, like, um, you know, like how to really implement it, like habit stacking, mm -hmm. where it's like, you know, you can't just like change all your bad habits. So it's like, like sliding in, like, you know, like the book says, like, if you plan on reading more at night, then maybe every morning you should leave your book on your pillow before you leave the house. So that when you come home after you shower, it's there, you pick it up. So he was just saying, he, we were just having a conversation about that kind of stuff. And I told him, I said, Brad, thank you so much. Because every time I can see, you know, take take something from a book and talk about it or write about it. Yeah. It makes it so much more yep. real. Yeah. 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 
Oh, I love that. That's good that you're putting in those like boundaries around like knowing that you, you're saying that you're this creative person. So like the contracts and like the proposals and all that stuff, it's like hard. And I can totally, we can totally relate to that. It's like, that's like the uh, kind of work, like Bra. later kind of work, like later, yes. later, later. But even like, for me, it's like that, that hard stuff that like goes against like what I want to do, like that has to be done first thing in the morning. Yeah. Or else it's never going to happen. Like, no, that's yeah, exactly. Like, like that's the thing I, I, I realized like I, I'm the, I'm the, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it today. I'll do it later on for sure today. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'll do it later on today if, if, at fucking 11. And then <laughs> yeah, I don't even want, and then I don't even want to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you or you're know, not like, doing it well. Like you're just exactly. trying to get rushed through or, it. Or yeah. I'm looking for any reason to not do it. Yeah. Like, like 1030 comes and I'm like, I'm like, oh, like, what is my dad guys doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, what, when I said that I was supposed to be doing it. And, yeah. you know, it's weird because I can film a hundred episodes in a day with my dad and not even feel a bit tired at all. Yeah. The second I need to open up that dock, I'm like, oh, this is dreadful. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So no, that's I, true. That's so true. So, but you know but that like about you said, yourself. So. Those are the necessities. Discipline. Yeah, discipline. Have to have to get done. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's good that you implemented exactly. that, and I'm, I'm, it's, it, I'm glad you're in your focus era. That's such a good era to be in. Being focus, intentional. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Seriously. But, you know, with, with um, life going on, so much things going on, so many projects. Time is a big one, and just being able to focus that's going to really push you forward, and it's going to be. And yeah. mind you. Mind you, I only now I have a Google calendar, and when I see that damn thing, I'm like, no wonder why one day leads to two, leads to three, leads to the Friday, and then I'm not like it's it's just incredible to see your 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 month laid out, and I'm like, dude, like I'm still trying to get Kobe all on Google calendar. Kobe, I'm on wow. iCal. Okay, I don't even what what is is that the one on your iPhone? On iPhone, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it syncs to my iPhone. Kobe, <laughs> I was, look at this, like, that's that, what my, my thing looks like too. No, but, but look at this. That's brutal. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, see? Hey, this you is, feel me? Yes, please cut this up as a, yeah, you that? You're like, yeah. Thoughts? Show the Google, show the Google calendar. Thoughts? <laughs> or some of that? Yeah. Uh, Kobe, I, I, Kobe, right I know. Kobe, I know. Kobe, even if I, even if I, I, I know the flight just by, is it, it, you know, is it airfare? Is it, is it a YouTube episode? You know, when I look at this, when I, I, I might as well, I might as well be, I might as well, I might as well be, I might as well be legally blind. I might as well learn how to read Braille, sister. Right? Hey, oh, I think, I on, think that's a way. I tell people, like, defend me right now. No, Ed. Please comment below. I don't yes. this if you clip this it's comment below be if you're a Google, Google calendar. Google calendar. <laughs> yes, because I know Kuhao, I know, I know, I know Ola Raposo. Yeah. I know all you guys is Google Cal for life. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go. Um, I gotta I gotta rev it for iCal. I swear that you guys aren't just doing it, you're not doing it right. You're not setting it up right. That's what it is. I have to get. The, I have to actually have to get the negativity out of my ears <laughs> real quick, just so I have to take it off. Real fast. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, gosh. Oh my gosh! I will try yeah. again. I promise. I will try again one day. One day. Yeah. Let's make time. Yeah. No. Oh all no. Right. You will. You, we. Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. be sure of it. Yeah. I'm like dodging all these like Google Cal invites. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing. In my that's account, the thing. In my Toyota will, Toyota will put something, and I'm I, I'm like, yeah, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and it's in there, and you know what you gotta do. Exactly, exactly. Uh... Whereas, 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 your invite, Kobe, <laughs> went to that thought, that that rail type. I don't even think no, it joking. gets sent anywhere. Honestly, it, no, it Andrew like it doesn't, doesn't ever respond to my invites. I'm like, where is this going? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, anyway. So this, that's a good way to end this conversation. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a good Google, Google Calendar. Comment below. <laughs> Google, uh, 
Yeah, we yeah, we know yeah. already, but, yeah, but just know. so that you know, just so that validate. some people can get we just want to validate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And and Thanks. nothing against Braille. If you, if you're into Braille, <laughs> you, you know, it's all it's all good. I mean, it's all good. I was I was a I was re, I was in that for years, <laughs> but now that now that I can look, I said, oh wow, I actually do have like three hours off where I can just freaking look at a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to pet go real On quick. that note, thank you, Zay, for joining us. It's always yes. good fun to catch up with you. Like you said, we can yeah. talk forever. Um, we can talk forever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My 10 minute alarm is going off. I'm already late to this next meeting. So I know. We <laughs> okay, let's wrap it. Let's wrap it. Uh, thank you guys. So no, seriously, though. Thank you, for joining us. Thank you, thank you Zay. Perfect. Follow him. How's this guy on Instagram? On YouTube. YouTube. How's this guy, too? It's the same. Yeah. Okay. How yeah. on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all the platforms, but mostly yeah. YouTube. Yes. Right. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Abe. Talk to you guys Take soon. care. All right. Cool. Thank you. Google cow. <laughs> Thanks, Kobe. Okay. See you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>